This video addresses topics of an adult nature, so viewers' discretion is advised. The Quran Lee app, subscription cheaper than Netflix, encouraging Quran reading, modern, engaging, and fun. Download it today. Although I definitely do think somebody in the family should watch it and be aware of this stuff because this is a cartoon that's made for kids between the age of four and eight in a European country. It's not even a, a fringe show on a fringe network. No, 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 no. It's, it's legit. Douche. <laughs> I've been ruminating on this for a few days. Apparently this show, this Danish cartoon called John Dillamond is about a man with a giant private part, yeah, which he swings around and does stuff with, like doing the barbecue, uh, using the lawnmower, helping a cat off a tree, and the likes, yeah? Apparently it was aired in January. How, yo, how on earth did I miss that? And you guys probably watching are like, because I've spoken to a few people about this and they're like, whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell is this? Are you, are you making this up? Are you serious? Unfortunately, I am. So this John Dillamond, yeah? So the word Dillamond in Danish is slang for penis. Let's face it. I mean, if there was a translation of John Dillamond here in the UK, we'd probably call it John Willie. Or John... You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm uncomfortable even speaking like this to you guys. But these people are showing it to our five-year-olds and four-year-olds. I think it exposes two things. The hypersexualization of our kids and the paedophile agenda that we've been seeing exponentially grow. Forget social media sexualizing our kids. Advertising. And the recent example was the poster for the Netflix show Cuties, in which they showed kids, uh, girls, wearing hot pants. And you know what, before it was somewhat subtle. Yeah, in a cartoon they'd put it here and there and you'd have to pause it and zoom in. Now it's just in your face. Not only is it in your face, it they're swinging it around and <laughs> slapping it in our faces, then our kids faces as well. I mean, that's the that's the confidence that the paedophiles now have. Look at this headline of Euronews. It says it received mixed reviews. Mixed reviews? How on earth did it not get slapped out of existence? Why was there not that much more of an outcry? It, uh, it baffles me frankly, yeah? But then when you look at Denmark and you look at its religious population, apparently nowadays it's seen as one of the most irreligious countries on the planet. And then it suddenly starts making sense because as believers, whatever religion you're part of, we have something called objective morality. Morality that applies to everybody, yeah, rather than subjective morality that comes from individuals. And the more irreligious countries are, the more you see subjective uh, morality and individualism and, and stuff like that. So then it starts making sense. Because where are they getting their morality from? From people. Or oh, in my opinion, this should be allowed. My opinion, this should be allowed. First, it's adults that are being defined by their sexuality. Oh, I'm this and I'm that and I'm... What's this being defined by your sexuality? You know, sex is a part, a very small part of our life, but yet it's being stretched from that, you know, under 5%, it's being stretched to like 70-80% via social media, via advertising, because they're using that to fill the void of purpose of love of compassion that we need. You might think that's that's a car, that's a cartoon mate, it's from Denmark, you might be one of those psychos that are like yeah it's happening over there mate, but hopefully there are people watching they'll be like yo if it's happened over there then it's only a matter of time till it comes over here and that's a good way of thinking. And this is a very dangerous standard that's being set because what you're doing is you're desensitizing kids. You're making them used to uncomfortable with this private part, which they shouldn't be comfortable with, with the amount of pedophiles and sexual abuse taking place. A lot of people that are messed up in the older age, they link that being messed up to some, some sort of trauma that's taken place when they were young, especially if they're sexual deviants. It's linked to getting sexually abused as a child. And so kids should be alarmed when someone whips it out. Not think, hey, it's John Thielemann. It's probably going to start stretching. Let me start stretching it. Yeah, so kids are going to be yanking on it, thinking, hey, I might be able to save someone's life with this. Nah, nah, nah. 
if someone whips that out, they shouldn't be think- is thinking John Dieleman. They should be thinking, get scissors and chop it off, mate. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, chop it right off. And you know what the, the psychologist advisor says? It's okay, it's a comic experience. Yeah, I think it's a comic experience to chop it off. Yeah, and then smack it in his face. How about that? This is the psycho, this is the psychologist advisor. And where do you draw the line? What, you're going to show penetration afterwards? Say, this is also a comic experience. And then you know what? She goes on to say, yeah, yeah, kids play naked and they laugh while saying the word willy and, you know, they play doctors. Whoa, 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 whoa. What sort of childhood did you have? What, they're playing doctor naked? Tell them to put their clothes on. I hope this psychologist does not have kids mate. Yeah! Forget not allowed to have kids, she shouldn't, she shouldn't be allowed near kids. Let's get a bit technical yeah, according to the 1989 International Convention on the Rights of the Child, Article 19-1, it talks about mental violence. And this, what they're doing to kids, I think falls under that category. But these conventions and Geneva this and UN this, we know it's just paper. Yeah, human rights this, I mean where are the human rights in Kashmir? Where are the human rights to the Uyghurs? Yeah, where are the human rights in Afghanistan? You know what I'm saying? Like it's just nonsense. You use it whenever you want and you abuse it whenever you want. So what do we learn from this? Yeah, do we just start going crazy and be like boycott technology, boycott this, boycott... You can't boycott technology. Yeah, let's face it, we're living in the real world, your kids are gonna watch cartoons. This proves that now parenting has to be more hands-on. You cannot just let your child vegetate in front of a television anymore and just leave them there and just trust whatever they're seeing is legit and sending them to the school and thinking whatever be whatever they're being taught there is legit. Islamic school or non-Islamic school? You know what I'm saying? So you need to be more involved yeah, with the teachers. What, what are you teaching my child with regards to this? And seeing and policing what your child is watching, engaging with them seeing what sort of ideas are running in their mind and not just leaving your child to play with, <laughs> with his dealermund. Let him of course know what, what he should be doing because you don't want a child being obsessed with their private part. I mean that's, that's ridiculous. Yeah, so more hands-on parenting please. Alright guys, let's leave it there. Until next time. Assalamu alaikum.